today I'm in Howard County on Race Road and it's been a few months since I've shot a video. I've been busy actually cleaning instead of documenting um, but now that I have a new toy that I got for Christmas I wanted to try it out on something that's been here in the woods and now that the leaves are dropped you can see it from the road as you drive by. There's a big old tire in here that's circling a tree or two. I think it's two, two small trees if I remember correctly. And I want to try out my new little tool, my Sawzall, portable Sawzall. See if I can get this off these trees without having to cut the trees down to get rid of it. So we're going to give it a try, see what happens. I think this is an older tire. I don't think it has a steel belt in it. Uh, maybe it does. So there's going to be a there's going to be a metal bead around here. It's going to be hard to cut through. And then this sidewall should be pretty easy. And then when we get to the side here, there should be a lot of meshed metal in the tread. It's underneath the tread itself, which may be pretty difficult. So uh, I'm going to do my best. See how how well this tool works. It's battery operated, so it's not it doesn't have a full voltage of um, okay, the strength of something that's plugged in. But we're in the woods, so don't have a whole lot of choice in the matter. Safety off. Let's see how it goes. Maybe the blade's not long enough to get where I need to get, but we'll give it a try and see what happens. making progress but it's really slow I think I've determined this is not the best blade for this job all right so I'm back on the next day um, the blade that I was using the standard blade that came with um, my Sawzall was too small of teeth so what I've done is brought um, some blades with slightly larger teeth today and if that doesn't work I'm gonna escalate it up to the wood blade which has even larger teeth got a slice in the tire up to this point about almost halfway so we got to go finish going through the tread and then underneath the bottom the uh, the bead the metal bead is, is gone it's out of the way at least it's still around the tree so I'm gonna have to cut it off to get it off there but um, at least it's not in the way from what the cutting I had to do Right, we're almost to the ground now. So this this blade is designed for PVC. Um, seems to be doing pretty well. Um, so just make a note of that for future reference. Now, this is a larger tire than most too. So hopefully, with most tires where I have this situation won't be as big of a deal. Got a lot of dirt in there. What I want to do is prop this up. Always good to use what you got around you if you can. All right, that should hold that up in the air. I should be able to finish this baby off. Vibrated the camera right, right off its perch. <laughs> That's awesome. So 
Sorry, camera. <laughs> We're almost there. Love it. It's ripping. Tire's coming. I got it where I want it now. Yeah. So we still got the rings here. These are metal, steel. I'm just gonna use a regular hacksaw on those. I'm not gonna waste my battery. And here we go. Here's our now extracted tire. <laughs> 